early 1960 or late 1959, met this kind of uh, creature that I had not seen before, this sort of a brilliant, illuminated face uh, with this uh, khadi-clad sari, feet tucked under her on a very kind of stiff um, sofa and uh, diamonds sparkling in her nose and in her ears and talking a great game of development, politics, grassroots, the whole works. When she started doing many of these things, they were really very unusual for economists to do. You know, women's stuff was seen as this little ghetto. So she was unafraid of getting into that and turning an analytical vision onto that. And then she was unafraid of getting people together who otherwise would have very, very different opinions, which I think was remarkable. Her whole uh, philosophy of women's work is that women's work in actually can raise the, uh, the tempo and, and, and turn around the economy. You often forget that she's an economist because she's so much a non straitjacket kind of economist feminist. You know, the economics does not always inform her feminism. You might almost say that it was too early for that kind of writing. But I have always known her as somebody who is uh, fascinated by the stories that women tell. She was also excited because an important thing was the actual visibility of work and then the organizing part. Women coming together, women being able to come together and voice their concerns. Uh, we started even as a house in a little room, uh, which was the library, the desk, one typewriter. There was one bed, a <laughs> lot of tiny books, including our fiction books. One cabinet which had some files, anybody would come, we were moving into the drawing room to talk to people if there was any, you know. So it was just tiny and we would share our lunch, Malti and myself, her secretary, her lemon rice and she would love whatever uh, North Indian khana I would bring. सबसे पहले तो क्योंकि मेरे बाल बहुत बड़े हैं और उस समय तो और भी बड़े थे तो उन्होंने बहुत केवल बाल ही बहुत देर तक वो क्योंकि मैं दो चोटी करती थी उस समय तो बहुत देर तक चोटी ही देखती रही वो मेरी मैं हमेशा मना करती थी कि नहीं मुझे नहीं करना क्योंकि यहाँ तो पूरा अंग्रेजी का माहौल है और मुझे तो बिल्कुल अंग्रेजी आती नहीं है तो उन्होंने कहा कि यदि हमें गाँव में काम करना है तो उसके लिए हिंदी की बहुत ज़रूरत है She cares about the Gandhian means of bringing people together. The whole idea of taking power and money to the villages, to uh, the people. And then as a tool for influencing policy. So she was the link really, the initial link. With people like her, with people like Veena Di and others, they worked at grassroots level, they all had that connection. They worked at the national level with the government and yet they were not averse to confronting the state when it became necessary and they worked at the international level. neoliberal patriarchal economists, policy makers in government who are usually, you know, the enemy and who we come and we're all very aggressive and etc. And she will come and be very charming and very open and just try and keep 
presenting a point in a very pleasant manner. I remember feeling at times, you know, what is she going on about and why, why should one engage with this kind of dialogue when you know that that agenda is not actually going to get you anywhere. She doesn't feel offended or, or affronted because many times, you know, things, people are not listening. Inside, she doesn't suffer fools gladly, but you would never know it. <laughs> you know, Medha, she would always start uh, with that phrase and then she would go on, uh, you know, very, very pinpointedly, but very emotionally. She's like a flowing person anyway, so the meetings also always uh, you know, flew through both of us. She would be herself sensitized by individual events and experiences and that would get reflected into her presentations. That then mobilizes people, explains the moment's viewpoint, answers the critical questions. And because uh, she was associated with Lakshmi Chanji, it was a uh, double impact uh, agenda always. एक दिन ऐसा हुआ हमारे सचिव उनका नाम था राधा कृष्ण वो अपने केबिन में बैठे थे मुझे किसी सिलसिले में बुलाया तो उनका बाहर लक्ष्मी और देव की बैठी हैं उनको बुला लाओ तो मैं बाहर निकल के आया मुझे कोई दो महिलाएं बैठी नहीं दिखी तो एक पुरुष और एक महिला दोनों बहुत भव्य थे अब इन दोनों ने चौंकाया इन्होंने कहा राधा ने बुलाया है <laughs> मैं हमेशा राधा कृष्ण जी जानता था उनको <laughs> तो मैंने कहा कि तीन महिलाएं बड़ा अच्छा संगम हो रहा है इनका I remember a conversation with Devaki once, she was being filmed. She was asked about uh, her feminism and I think she was just touching 70. Devaki launched into this amazing sensual description of being made love to by her lover, the man who became her husband, and how that revealed the woman in her and how she felt completely herself. They were just uh, so completely uh, besotted with each other in a very evident way. Later, as we grew up, we discovered the whole embattled history. She was almost banished from the family. One keeps hearing different bits from different people about how someone smuggled her somewhere and then they had this meeting somewhere in Kautilya Marg and then, you know, picking her up from Miranda College and then driving off for an ice cream and things like that. When we grew up as kids, we had two things happening. We had our mother at home uh, waiting for us, you know, uh, homework, food, rest and all that. And we had a beehive of activity going on with a lot of people and there was a lot of buzz. I think this was like once a week kind of ritual that uh, we would all gather there and then she'd play the Tanpura and then she'd sing, uh, you know, all these amazing Meera Bhajans and Tyagaraj Kirtanas and so on. Uh, and uh, it was fantastic. I mean, we, we sometimes tried to sing along with her and that again was, you know, mixed results. Dinner table at our house was that it was not just the foursome. So one day you'd have K.N. Raj or, you know, and Amartya Sen or Professor Raj Krishna. Tarka ki zaroti nahi thi khana mein. So we had very mild food, but the tarka came by way of what happened in the course of the day. They would both carry their work home and they'd be sort of simultaneous parenting happening and then also a uh, typist, you know, typing away. That was like the soundtrack of, uh, uh, you know, the childhood uh, growing up. I cannot open a computer even today. My mother has iPads, laptops, Blackberries, and she may carry two things at a time. <laughs> Dictaphone, laptop, this, that. And she's always like, oh, this has come out, that's come out. I want to like, calm down, yeah. <laughs> It's in my wedding album because uh, th that was a picture that I have of Devaki and John dancing and I used to call it the Fulbright Scholar with the Sarvadaya worker 
It's a fantastic picture. At some Roosevelt House function, John in a suit and Devaki in her khadi sari. I'm sorry you can't see the diamonds twinkling, but they were there too. Thank you.